Hey y'all, welcome to Stivers Homestead. I'm Zach, and it is a very, very cold Monday morning here in Kentucky. So last week we had a lot of nice weather. We had some 60 degrees popping out. Looks like winter's here to stay for a little bit now. We got a little snowfall falling and a little rain. It's just a wet, muddy mess. But hey, it's my last week of actual work. So to do a quick weekend recap, um, the kids actually went to Grammy Karen's house and to have a little grandparent, grandchildren time. And then so Jen and I actually spent the time at one of our favorite places to go, it's called Cumberland Gap, and we had a little date weekend. Just one night, but it's something just to spice things up and keep dating each other. That's a little something I want to talk about. I see uh, so many people when they're starting to become our age or a little bit older, I mean, everything's about the kids, right? Of course, like it should be. But you need to make sure that you're having time for husband wife time. Um, it's very important to do so. Uh, Jen and I, we'll be together in 10 years in April. And we try to take advantage of every time the kids go to their grandparents' house. We want to make sure that it is something that we're focusing on each other and that we're uh, keeping that fire lit as hot as it is for our uh, children, you know, because we're always doing something with the children. We homeschool, you know, our kids don't leave the house. So Monday through Friday, they're here with us um, and we just, we're together all the time. So all the focus is with our kids. Um, and then when the weekends come and we do get those nice times that they go to the grandparents, um, we really make sure that we date each other um, and we just put the work down. Um, well, as much as we can, we put the work down and that we don't try to focus on too much um, and that we focus on each other. And I think it's one of the great successes on why her and I are still best friends to this day. And that'll never change is because we do focus on one another. So if it's been a minute for you and your significant other, uh, make sure you're taking a pause. Go do that. Go do something. Um, we actually stayed at a bread and, bre bread and breakfast, an actual one. Um, and we got to eat breakfast the next morning with a bunch of strangers and that was pretty cool. We met a lot of different people. Um, breakfast was interesting. We had tapioca. That was the first time I've ever had that in my entire life. Didn't know what it was. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I could, uh, this old country fella could have just had some biscuits and gravy, but it was a really fun experience. We had a great time. And now it's back to some pretty exciting news again. Like it just keeps staying wild around here. Um, we got a new animal on this farm. But before we show you what that is, Let's talk about some things. So first things first, um, the 15% off the entire store on orders 30 or more, pull my hat up, see my face. Um, this is the last week. So it runs till next Tuesday, but this is the last full week that it's out there. And we have a very limited quantity of two brand new items that Jen are trying. If it goes well, we might add more of these and make it a permanent spot. But this is kind of that test and learn time to see if it's something that'll do well, something that y'all want or not. So here's the two things. The candles were such a hit. We had a lot of people asking about wax melts and if that's something that we did. Well, now we do. Here is the first round. These are lavender wax melts. Um, they come in a six pack, which is like the exact size that you would get on anything else. Um, we have them out there right now. There's only a handful of them, like I said. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, you have a wax warmer, go grab you some. The other is a face toner. So Jen made a lavender face toner. It's got the spray bottle with directions on the back on how to use it and everything. She loves using face toners. She decided that she wanted to make a more healthy product for herself. And so now she has, and she loves it. And so now she made a, a bunch for you all to have as well, if you're interested. And of course, there's still plenty of stock of all kinds of tinctures and teas. Again, this is one of the big discount times. So make sure that you're going to grab that stuff if you're interested. All right, now that's out of the way. The other things I wanted to talk about was some exciting stuff that's happening this week. So this week, we're garden planting. It is time. I know it doesn't feel like it, but right now is the time for some of you zones to go ahead and be starting your like hot pepper seeds. And if you're doing any kind of herbs, it's time for you, I would say like seven and below, maybe eight and below to be starting that stuff if you haven't already. Um, it's, it's a great time of year. Um, I always look forward to it because it's time to start thinking about all the new that's coming, all the new life that's coming on the trees, on the ground and in the plants and in our gardens, especially. So, we're gonna be pulling up our uh, awesome friends Haas Tools site, checking out all the different seeds that are there, what's new for this year that we might be adding, and really get this plan down and figure it out. So, if you're not, let's start getting prepared and we'll do it together. We'll have a full video of everything that we're getting and what the plans are. The second big thing that we're gonna to try to start this week is working on this guy. And I'm really excited to do so. So if y'all been following around, y'all know I was so happy that there was some kind of garage structure at this home because I've never had one. I've never had a garage. Um, it was nice to have something to work in and it's been absolutely fantastic. Well, it's time to take it to the next level. So the first step that we're gonna be doing to getting this thing cleared out and making it a bigger and better space because it's gonna be part of our warehouse and workshop uh, moving forward so we can clear out the store so it's not loaded with Amazon boxes and different boxes that are going to ship out um, is we need to get a dumpster. So the dumpster uh, should be here by this Friday. 
fingers crossed if all goes well that's been kind of a a nightmare to figure out but just in two years homesteads they really pile up some junk i don't care what anybody says they've got a corner somewhere that's got their junk laying around because it accumulates quite a bit now not all of it's junk sometimes it's stuff that you're going to reuse that looks like junk um, but there is a lot there's a lot of stuff that happens so getting that dumpster this weekend get it all cleaned out and then the first step will most likely be working on that roof and i am i hate heights but it's got leaks and so we're gonna have to do something there get it cleaned out get the roof done do the windows and then start getting shelves and stuff put inside once we get to the shelves it'll be very very easy um, but the roof will be the biggest task that we have to conquer and this is part of that trying to be frugal right and making sure that you're using what you have there was a thought that crossed our mind to getting a barn or a pole barn of some form a new one getting it put up and that being the warehouse well that's unnecessary money to spend when you have a structure that just needs some tlc so that's why we're going this route instead of doing something new hopefully we have to expand even bigger down the line and we'll have to get a new one at some point but right now that's a fine structure that's completely out of concrete blocks that's, that's what's made so it's very sturdy just needs a little tlc and we'll get her there and those kind of things are probably my most exciting things um, about quitting my job is being able to work on some of these large projects and making sure to have time for it um, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, my only time to really do that was on the weekends. And then that took away from date time between Jen and I. So I'm glad that I can start tackling this stuff more through the week. Um, and that way we can have the weekends off for just family time. And it's, it's really exciting. So I'm, I can't wait for this week to get done with because it is the last one and then it'll just be full on farming. Have I drug it on a lo uh, long enough? Are y'all ready to see what the new, uh, new exciting animal is here on this farm? Because we're really excited about it. Everybody meet Benny. Hi, Benny. What are you doing? He's been on my feet the whole time I've been shooting this video, so he might have been in some background. He is a little bitty Great Pyrenees puppy, and he is a boy, and he is the sweetest little thing you ever did see. All over me. Now I can talk about it, because this whole video, I've been tripping all over him. Um, yeah, we got another dog. That is dog number six, but he has a purpose and a reason. So Greybeard and Grammy Karen, they have uh, quite a few great Pyrenees and they had a litter of five. And when I thought about it, I was like, I could take a boy because we have two trained livestock guardian dog females that could be great mamas and learn how to teach how to teach puppies to be great livestock guardian dogs. So this is another profit revenue stream that we are going to try and see if it works. Now, of course, oh, Benny, where'd you go? There he is. He's hiding. It's very little, so it's a, it's an investment um, to make sure that we can get to that point because it's gonna take a while before he can start breeding anything. Um, we're really excited about it. There's nothing cuter than a Great Pyrenees pup. And what's really gonna set this over the top is they will be trained livestock guardian dogs. So it can be one of those things where once we have them, they can be out for port purchase. However, they can stay on the farm until Dolly and Xena have had time to teach them to not eat chickens, to not mess with goats, to protect them, keep the coyotes out, do that different type of stuff. And having a livestock guardian dog in your farm is one of the reasons that we have like zero death here when it comes to predators, um, knock on wood. They really, really do a great job. And Great Pyrenees, in my opinion, are the only livestock guardian dog you should get because they are awesome. Uh, now there's a lot of good ones that are out there that are not Great Pyrenees. That's just our preference. We really like them and we're very excited that little old Benny has joined the farm. So the plan with the little fella right now, we just got him yesterday, actually on our way back from the date when we picked up the kids because that's Grammy Karen and Graybird had him. He's in the house at this moment. It's just to get him a little bit older. He's only seven weeks old at this time, uh, seven to eight weeks old, um, eating his own food and all that good stuff and doesn't need mama anymore. Well. We need to get him in that barn as soon as we possibly can because the best way to get, keep Great Pyrenees from eating chickens is having them with them from the very get-go. As long as they've been with chickens and they know not to eat them. Um, it's something that we had to train Dolly because she wasn't used to that and we had a few chickens go down. But the quicker we can get him out there, the quicker he's gonna learn how to be a livestock guardian dog and it's gonna be very exciting. So we'll probably give him a couple weeks. Right now he's so goofy and little that he wouldn't stand a chance out there. He'd just get rolled and It'd just be bad. He can't, he doesn't know how to stand up for himself at all just yet. Um, so we're gonna let him have a couple weeks in the house, which has been so much fun. It's like having an infant baby all over again. Um, but we're gonna get there. We'll get there with him. It just takes a little time. Um, but I would say max week to two weeks and he'll be out there in the barn for the most part. 
in the interim though we will be having play dates out in the barn so he might not be living in there but we will definitely have some supervised visits where we're going out there sitting with them letting everybody sniff him him sniff them let them get along that way they're all getting acquainted with him uh, we don't want to just drop him off and put him in there and say good luck benny uh, so we will be doing that a lot this week. We'll make sure to catch it on film too because I'm sure it will be some funny interactions. And of course, baby teeth just chewing the fire out of anything he can chew on. Right now, it's my boot. So there you go. There's the big news for today. It seems like every video, there's quite some large amount of news that are happening so stay tuned to see what's happening on wednesday let us know what you think about old benny down here um and if it's something what's your opinions on livestock guardian dogs what's your favorite breeds how do you all do it what's the process that you all take and are you is it something that you're interested in getting into because it is an important factor on the farm y'all we love you we hope you have a great week we'll be here with you all week and we'll catch you on the next one bye y'all tripping me everywhere can't even get my dang on words up